Generic Joe is ready for some run and gun action with today's game, Heavy Barrel for your NES, featuring Screaming Action Dude and Zap Rosdauer. How awesome. Let's go ahead and take Heavy Barrel, the top arcade hit. Let's pop it in my NES and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Ah! Heavy Barrel was published by Data East and was released in 1990. It is based on the 1987 arcade game. The manual opens with the following. The impossible and unthinkable has happened. Terrorists have seized the underground control complex of a nuclear missile site. It's up to you to infiltrate the installation and eliminate the leader of the terrorist army before they can launch the missiles. You won't find the job an easy one. The formidable defenses of the subterranean fortress, powerful tanks, treacherous waterways, narrow bridges are now in the hands of terrorists. And if that isn't bad enough, the only weapon that gives you a chance against the terrorist, Heavy Barrel, is inside the installation itself. You have one bit of luck on your side. The terrorists don't know that Heavy Barrel exists. Just before the fortress fell, a clever technician took the gun apart, locked the pieces in six different storage lockers, and scattered the keys throughout the fortress. Once you've battled your way inside, you have to find the keys and reassemble the gun. Brute force alone won't defeat the terrorist. It'll take strategy and resourcefulness. This isn't a job just for anyone. That's why you're here. Heavy Barrel is a run and gun game for one or two players with one standard mode of difficulty. The game contains seven sections to complete. For the controls, use the D-pad to move, A to fire your primary weapon, and B to use your secondary weapon, typically grenades. Throughout the game, you can pick up keys to open up lockers, which can contain new primary weapons, such as flamethrowers or laser guns, new secondary weapons, such as the mace, which will circle around you, extra lives, a star shield for temporary protection, or a piece of the ultimate weapon, the heavy barrel. Your basic weapon, the machine gun, has unlimited ammo, but all the other weapons are limited. To use the heavy barrel, you must collect the six pieces, and when you do, you'll be able to use it for about 99 seconds according to the manual. You also will face several bosses in the game, and you can continue, but your continues are limited. Graphically speaking, the game overall looks pretty good, although it does have some flickering. Heavy Barrel also has some solid music and sound effects. Family friendly wise, the game would most likely get an E10 and up rating today due to animated violence without blood. At the time I researched on eBay including shipping, loose copies were going for $10 to $15 and complete copies were going for $19 to $30. So what did I think of Heavy Barrel? This is a solid run and gun title for the NES. It controls well, and while I may not be able to beat it, the difficulty seems to be suitable, and it looks and sounds good too. It may not reach the classic NES game Commando, in my humble opinion, and it could have used some more wrinkles such as hidden areas or vehicles to ride in, but overall this is a solid title for the NES. So where am I going to rank Heavy Barrel? This one's going to be in the high teens to early 20s. I do like Pac-Man more at 19, but I will put this over Ice Hockey at 20. So out of the 51 games I've now ranked, Heavy Barrel is locking and loading into the 20 position. Heavy Barrel isn't the best run and gun game on the system, but it is a solid title nonetheless. But that's only one guy's opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me both on the Facebook and the Twitter. Check out some of my many other videos and sign up at patreon.com slash gamer to support the show and gain access to exclusive perks, just like Patreon supporter Super Steve C. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosewear Gamer. Take care and don't lose your keys. You might need them to open up a locker you find laying around.